What is up guys, Rick Akis here, and today we're talking about Hakka Scout Rifles in Destiny. Now you may be thinking, wait a minute, I don't remember any Hakka Scout Rifles, and you'd be right. When Bungie introduced foundries within the Taken King, unfortunately some of the combinations were left out. Hawka Scout Rifles is one of them. Now Bungie is hard at work designing the next set of dance emotes, so I've taken it upon myself to come up with what Hawka Scout Rifles would look like if they were added into Destiny. Now that quip aside, Bungie actually did add a lot of content with its most recent live update, adding Sparrow Racing, an entirely new game mode with two new maps and new armor pieces that had special new abilities, all of that stuff means that adding a new weapon combination like Hakka Scout Rifles into the game is certainly within the realm of reason. Now before I go over what my idea for what Hakka Scout Rifles would look like in Destiny is, let's go over why I'm doing this. Simply put, the key to making Destiny better is diversity. Just diversifying your experience within the game. So adding a new combination of gun is going to open up a bunch of new gameplay possibilities in PvE and PvP that's going to make your experience different. Don't worry, I'm not just adding scout rifles like normal and making them look different. I am not adhering to any of the current damage archetypes within the game right now. Unfortunately, when Bungie introduced Foundries and when it was first announced, the pillars of design that they said would differentiate each one of these foundries was no more than marketing speak. Practically, when you're actually playing the game, a Suro Scout Rifle feels exactly like an Omelon Scout Rifle and that's because they fall into the same damage categories. So they're doing the same damage, the only difference is the perk layout with one exception. Hakka Pulse Rifles. These weapons actually shoot in bursts of four, and therefore they actually have different damages than other pulse rifles. This really added a breath of fresh air into the pulse rifle category, and using a Hakka pulse rifle honestly feels different, very different, than using any of the other pulse rifles within the game. I'm going to adhere to this principle when I design my Hakka scout rifles. So, Hakka scout rifles, what would they look like? Well, this foundry, Hakka, actually takes its design, takes its inspiration from modern day military guns. A lot of the guns uh, in the game for Hakka look very similar to current military weapons we would find today. So we've just got to look at, well, what are the scout rifles of today? And those would include things like the M14 EBR and even the FAL. These are the really heavy hitting rifles that see combat even today. These weapons are often referred to as Designated Marksman Rifles or DMRs. They're basically in between Assault Rifles and Sniper Rifles. They can reach out a lot further than Assault Rifles typically can, however not quite as far and aren't quite as accurate as traditional Sniper Rifles. And I don't know about you, but the M14 EBR looks cool as hell and I would love to see that implemented in some form into Destiny. So they're inspired by modern day military DMRs, but what would they add to the game in terms of diversity? How would they be different from the other scout rifles currently in the game? Now to answer this, we have to look at what Hakka stands for. Bungie themselves, when first announcing these foundries, said that one of the pillars of design for Hakka, the foundry, was hammers, not scalpels. These guns pack a punch, at least they're supposed to, and that's what these scout rifles would emphasize. Right now, the current most damaging scout rifles can kill in three headshots in PvP. Hawka scout rifles would kill in two. Now, I absolutely know probably what your main concern after hearing that is, how are you gonna make that not overpowered? Because that sounds overpowered. I mean, they kill in one less shot, but we just have this awesome thing called a fire rate. We can simply dial back the fire rate, make time between shots pretty long, and therefore bring the time to kill right in line with the current time to kills of scout rifles in Destiny. In fact, it really isn't that difficult. Currently, the three shot to kill scout rifles, which include things like the Last Extremity, uh, the Cosidus SR4, and the Jade Rabbit, and all of these weapons have a time to kill of 0.8 seconds. 
Now, preferably, I'd actually want to add two more damage archetypes with Hakka Scout Rifles, just like how in Hakka Pulse Rifles, there's the high damaging Hakka Pulse Rifles like the Lumidia and the lower damaging ones like the Apple of Discord. So, firstly, you would have the highest damaging Hakka Pulse Rifles. Those we're talking about doing like over 100 damage for a headshot. So, 110, 105, anywhere over 100 pretty much to guarantee that it kills in two headshots. These would maybe be the ones that look like the M14 EMR, just almost like a snipe rifle. And the time to kill we would be aiming for for these weapons would be around 0.7 seconds. Now I know what you're thinking, wait a minute, 0.7 is less than 0.8, wouldn't that just automatically make them overpowered? But that's actually not the case. In fact, the most common scout rifles, the ones that kill in four shots, actually have a time to kill of one second. And the ones that shoot even faster and take five shots to kill, kill actually a little bit in between at 0.93 seconds. So we have these different categories of scout rifles and actually the most powerful ones, the heavy hitters currently that kill in three shots, kill the fastest, kill at 0.8 and again the most common four shot to kill ones, kill at one second. So why haven't you noticed the strong ones, the powerful scout rifles, if they have a faster time to kill, why aren't they just running rampant in the crucible? Why is everyone using the Mita multi-tool? Well, simply the answer is, it's not all about time to kill, it's also about usability. And when you have those heavy hitting scout rifles that take three shots to kill and have such a slow fire rate in the game, they are absolutely just terrible when you're in those closer ranges because if you get hit and you recoil off an enemy and you miss one shot, your time to kill absolutely plummets. This high damaging Hawker Scout Rifle archetype would be the same thing. Missing would be catastrophic. Like you would basically, you are, will not get the kill if you miss. That's the downside. So there needs to be an upside. And that upside is that you keep your distance. If you aren't hit when you're shooting an enemy, if you really kind of act like a sniper, treat that weapon like a DMR, then you are able to kill enemies pretty damn fast. Now the next archetype of Hawka Scout Rifles is a little bit more interesting. This one would actually shoot faster than a previous one, but it would do below 100 damage, 99 to be exact. And the reason it is doing this is just like the Pulse Rifles that do 33 damage for a headshot. They're able to kill low armor builds one shot sooner, so in this case they would kill the lowest armor builds in two shots, but most enemies they're going to take three shots to kill. So just adjust the fire rate so that a three shot kill would equal about 0.93 seconds, so that would put them right in the line with the other scout rifles in the game. However, if you're versing a low armor build, you are gonna be killing them a lot quicker, but that is just like the pulse rifles in the game as well. Now both of these archetypes would additionally have really good accuracy and range to just kind of more accentuate the fact that they are longer ranged marksman rifles. Now to offset this great damage potential, they would have pretty damn low magazines. We're talking only a 10-ish rounds would be about the average. Now they could go up to 15, they could go even lower down to 8 for the guaranteed 2 hit to kill archetype for example. But again, Hawka Scout Rifles are the long range, most accurate, heavy hitting Scout Rifles. Additionally, they would also come with a sizable amount of recoil that you'd have to be able to handle if you want to make the most of these weapons. Now I think both of those archetypes sound pretty damn balanced, but if I'm wrong, so what? There's always these negative Nancys that hate on new things just because they're so worried about these hypotheticals, whether or not they're overpowered. Who cares? If these are introduced in the game and they're overpowered, well, we'll do this crazy thing where we just nerf them. Just make the rate of fire a little bit longer and then they'll be balanced. Like, it's not that big a deal. I'm willing to have a little bit overpowered new guns for just a while, let's say a month before they're nerfed and then they can fit into the game rather than than have no creativity and no new things at all. Now if you're someone who likes this idea and wants to see Hawka Scout Rifles introduced into Destiny, it's up to you to rate and share this video with your friends so that Bungie actually pays attention. I'd love to hear your guys' idea for what you think Hawka Scout Rifles would be and all of the other missing gun types in the game as well. Omelon Auto Rifles anyone? 
So that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Now, if you want to see more Destiny content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. Now, if you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter. That's linked in the video description down below, as is my Twitch channel, which you can follow as well. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.